For this video, we are going to solve for the eigenvalues, the representative or the corresponding eigenvectors, and the representative eigenspaces for this given matrix here. We have a 2 by 2 matrix, A, which with entries 1, negative 4, negative 2, and 8. To do that, we are going to use this certain equation here. Don't forget that this certain equation is actually the characteristic equation of this matrix that we were able to solve in the previous video. If you have time, you may review that video in determining how was this characteristic equation came into being. But of course, we will be using this now to solve for the eigenvalue, the corresponding eigenvectors, and the eigenspaces. To do that, because the eigenvalues are represented by lambda, we simply take out here or solve the lambda here. So we are going to use factoring. So we are going to factor lambda. And you have lambda minus 9 equal to 0. By zero factor or zero product property, this is only true if one or both of them are equal to 0. So the first lambda is 0 and the second lambda is positive 9. These are the two eigenvalues of this given matrix. See that it's very short in solving for eigenvalues because we're able to already identify the characteristic equation. Now for the eigenvectors, there are separate eigenvectors for specific eigenvalues. And we can do that using this process here. We are going to treat and go back to lambda times your identity minus a. Okay? But of course, if we're going to do that, our identity is the identity matrix of a 2 by 2 matrix. We have 1, 0, 0, 1. Because our given matrix A is also a 2 by 2 matrix. So you will have here a lambda times 1, 0, 0, 1 minus our A, which is, sorry, that's 1, negative 4, negative 2, and then 8. So you will have here lambda 0 0 lambda minus 1 negative 4 negative 2 and then 8 which gives us the final form of lambda minus 1 0 minus negative 4 is positive 4 0 minus negative 2 is positive 2 and you have here lambda minus 8 this form will be used now to determine the first steps in solving the eigenvectors of specific eigenvalues. Let's start with the first eigenvalue, which is 0. Simply substitute that here. In short, our form now of the matrix, let's make it in the form of a matrix, is 0 minus 1, negative 1, 4, 2, 0 minus 8 is negative 8. This form now will be multiplied to a certain vector because it will have this form lambda i minus a times x equal to the zero vector since we are on a 2 by 2 matrix so our x is a 2 by 1 matrix with x sub 1 and x sub 2 and this will be equated to our zero vector of the 2 by 2 or r2 rather we have 0 and 0 so we are simply going to solve for x sub 1 and x sub 2 here, and same with the next eigenvalue. There are a lot of processes that what we can do here, but uh, the suggestion here is to come up with the reduced row echelon form of this. So we can do that by multiplying negative 1 to r1 first. Then we will have this form, 1, negative 4, 2, and negative 8. And then we multiply negative 2 to r1 and add it to r2 for a new r2 you will have here uh, two uh, still negative 1 and 4 negative 2 times 1 plus 2 0 negative 2 times negative 4 is 8 minus 8 is 0 with this our equation now will be in the form of x sub 1 as our first entry minus 4 x sub 2 equal to 0 since there are two variables here we can let x sub 2 be an arbitrary variable t so our x sub 1 is here 40 0 and then x sub 1 is equal to positive 4 t in short our eigenvector here one of which again we're using arbitrary variable you have here 4 t and t if you're going to take out t 
you will have 4 and 1. This is now our eigenvector for the eigenvalue which is z rho. And of course, we could also try other val values of t here which could come up with multiples of this which is also or also forms of the eigenvectors for algebra, eigenvalue 0. We can rewrite it into one form. We'll have here this set. Set of all t times the vector for 1 where t is an element of R but not an element of the set of uh, set containing is 0. This is actually the eigenspace. This is the eigenspace. This is the eigenvector of your eigenvalue, which is zero. So here we see their connections. Okay. Now let's duplicate the process for our next eigen uh, value, which is nine. This was the form earlier, right? Where we simply substitute the zero to come up with this. So we simply do it like here as well. So the form here for lambda, uh, lambda i minus a, would be uh, 9 here, 9 minus 1 is 8, that's 8. 4, 2, 9 minus 8 is 1. This will be multiplied to a vector, because again, this is the form. You multiply it with vector x, which is a uh, uh, element of R2, equal to your uh, zero vector of R2. So you have x sub 1, x sub 2 equal to 0 and 0. Okay? So here the goal is to come up with a reduced row echelon form of this. You can interchange, of course, if you would like to. Uh, let's try to interchange row 1 and then row 2. You will have 2, 1, 8, and 4. We can multiply 1 half to row 1. To become the new row one. Hence, you will have one, one half, right? Then you still have eight and four here. Now it's time to multiply negative eight to row one plus row two to make another a new row two. This is still one and one half. You have negative eight times one plus eight is zero. Negative eight times one half is negative four plus four is zero. So your equation now is x sub one plus one half of x sub two equal to zero. Let x sub two, let's try to use s because we already used t here earlier. So x sub one plus one half of s is equal to zero. x sub one is equal to negative one half of s. In short, the eigenvector of the lambda or eigenvalue which is nine is one half or negative one half s and then an s or you have your s times negative one half and one this is the eigenvector and your eigenspace is a set containing all uh, again this is just one of the vectors clarification because you can try s here as any value but s is just an element of the real number except the L as but not an element of the set containing zero eigenspace eigenvector of your eigen uh, value this is how we finish the process that we did in the previous video once we have our characteristic characteristic equation the goal for that is eigenvalue eigenvector and eigenspace so this is how we do it for this video and we still have more videos uh, to come soon and again, please review the process of getting this characteristic equation so that you will be guided. Thank you very much for watching.